Now, in the previous lessons, we learned about macro and the basics of them. Now we're like going to the steps where we're going to learn about VBA and the basics of them and then go to a bit of basics advanced, which I would say. So we're going to learn about VBA and like how it works. So let's start off with the interface. I've shown you in the first lesson that how you're going to open up VBA and how you're going to do the developer like opening it up. So what you're going to do is just when you have Excel turned on, just go to developer and then click on basic visual basic alt F11 for the shortcut key. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just select on it. And now you can see that this interface opens up. You can see that I have three sheets here, which is also showing me the same three sheets, which is sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. And you can see that the sheet one or sheet two is also named as sorting is filtering as it is right here. And right below it, you can see the modules. And why are you seeing the modules? Because I have some macros saved in there, which is control plus H for the previous lesson I used. Okay, if you don't have like nothing if you don't have any modules here an example if i just delete the module which is macro i'm going to delete it and now when i open up vb you might see that this vb doesn't have anything in it or you might also see that there's like nothing here okay now as i've like hidden you can see that this is also now hidden list and properties you can see that there are a lot of them which I generally like using now I'm gonna use is user form my bad give me a moment now you can see that I have all of those back you don't have to worry if you hide them what we're gonna do is just when you hide any of them when you like press on hide and hide you can see that there is these options which are project explorer control plus r and project properties windows just click on them and they will come right back so as i don't have any modules because i deleted the macro so you're not going to have any modules okay you can also delete them i already have that i had that because i had macros if you don't have any macros saved it's not going to show any modules okay so as I have the VB interface opened up or visual VBA so as you can see that this is the project interface and this is the properties interface you can see that there are a lot of data in sheet 2 okay now what I'm gonna do first is let me show you how these work okay so when you just open this file you can see that there are save sorting filtering and a lot of them just does however they say this is the edit this is view i will show you some of these are which the basics of them which is now insert modules user form class module formatting debugging we will go through them later in the lesson so the basics of this is and this is the coding area or the coding interface or the page whatever you tell or whatever you're saying okay so if you have modules like saved the modules will open up and after you click them you will see that the module will appear here as I don't have any modules you will see that there are nothing you can also go to general and declaration there are nothing so firstly what I'm gonna do first is open up an immediate screen or also known as immediate windows so first off this immediate windows is where you can use basic codes okay let me increase this a bit an example you want to know which like what data is in a selected cell okay so firstly what I'm gonna do is just type in a command if you just type in whatever you want it's not gonna be useful because VBA does not understand that it's also one of those softwares it's gonna go by its command okay you can't just type in whatever you want and it's not going to show you your result. So what I'm going to do first is type in a command. An example, now I want to search 
or a line or whatever you want. An example, I want to search what data is in a selected cell. So for that, we have to use a code or a command, which will be, my bad, it turned off. So what I'm gonna do is, an example of what I showed you, mm, my bad. Do is just turn this on again. And now in example, you want this to be turned on. My bad, let's go again. Sheet two or maybe sheet three, okay? So as I have the sheet two turned on, which is also sheet three, which is named here, but this is sheet two. So what I'm gonna do is, if you want to ask VBA that what data it consists. So what I'm gonna do is start with a question, okay? Always start with a question and also the range, okay? The range, and then we're gonna type in which cell are, my bad, okay? And now, open parenthesis, cell, which cell you want to use? Okay, an example, I want C4. Um, C4, okay? double quotation close to parenthesis you can see that this data which is also female okay an example let's start off with another one you have to start with a question if you want the number of worksheets that are in your document just type in worksheets dot count my bad worksheets not work worksheets just type in worksheets dot count and you can see that there are three sheets okay so this is how VBA works you can do a lot of them so how we're gonna do the immediate or open up this immediate windows again I'm gonna show it to you again just go to view and then click on this immediate windows if you want local windows you can also do it watch windows you can do it project explorer we will all go through them later in the lesson now what we're gonna do is go to view and now what I'm gonna do is object browser you can select whichever one you want and then add in which commands if you want com comment you can do is class comment and then text whichever data this is also like the saved commands or codes which you whichever one you prefer to say so if you want to just use it just select them and then type in whichever you want okay as custom view okay this all works here and we will go through these later on so these are the basics some of the basics so just start practicing or try opening it up you will get it now let's move on to the next lesson